Welcome back mga kaguro! This is your Gurong Pinoy. If this is your first time to watch our video, don't forget to follow and like us on Facebook. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram as Gurong Pinoy PH. Today's topic is abstract reasoning. This is a very common topic for civil service examinations, licensure examination for teachers, and for entrance examinations. This is part one of our abstract reasoning. Let's take a look at number one. We have several pictures there. We have a paint and a paintbrush, followed by a pool of thread. And we have the different choices that we have here. So what should be in this box? Should it be a dress? Should it be a pair of scissors? Should it be an artist paintbrush? Or should it be a needle? Okay, so for us to know the correct answer, let's take a look at the first two pictures that we have here. So we have paint, a pail of paint, and we have the paintbrush. So of course, we all know that we use a paintbrush for our paint. So that means for the pool of thread here, we need to find the tool that we can use whenever we're using our thread. Okay, so what should be the correct answer? Is that a dress? That shouldn't be your correct answer. Is that a pair of scissors? Should it be the partner of our thread? Or should it be an artist's paintbrush? Or should the answer be your needle? Okay, the correct answer, of course, here would be letter D, needle. Okay, so again, letter D, needle po is our correct answer. Okay, so letter D, needle is our correct answer. We go to number two. Now, in number two here, we have several shapes. Okay, so you have the first part here, the first set here. You have two boxes. On the first box, you have a circle. And inside the second box, you have a triangle. Now, we go to the second set here. You still have the same shapes that you find in the first set, but their arrangement is different. Okay, so you still have the two boxes, but the triangle is placed on top of the first box, and the circle is placed placed on top of the second box. So as you can see, we still have the two boxes, but then the order of the circle and the triangle is switched. Okay, now we go to the third set that we have. We still have the boxes, but this time the boxes are inside the other shape. So the first one we have a circle and inside the circle we have a box. For the second one, we have a triangle and the box is inside it. So as you can see, in a switch ulit, ang order ng triangle and ng circle natin. Now, we are off to the last set that we have here. So, the first shape that we have, first combination of shapes, you have a triangle, and on top of the triangle, you have the box. Okay, so that means it should be a circle here, and on top of it should be the square or the box. So, the correct answer should be letter C. Okay, so letter C should be your answer for number two. Now we go to the third question. Okay, so in this question here, we have four sets and they all have cones. Okay, so as you can see, ang first set natin ay related sa ating third set. Now, the second set is related to the fourth set that we have. Okay, so ano bang pagkakaiba? Ano ba yung relationship na ating nakikita? Yung first and third sets, they just look the same. They're very similar. But the second comb is here facing downwards and sa yung third set the comb is facing upwards now when we check the second set here all of the combs are facing downwards now for the last set that we have the first comb and the, the last comb are both facing upwards so what should be the correct position of the comb here okay so as again as we can see the first set and the third set are related while the second set and the fourth set are related. So in this case, of course, it's pretty obvious that the correct answer should be letter C. That completes our fourth set. Now we go to question number four. Alright, so question number four here. We have four sets 
Okay, and each of the sets here have four people. Okay, four batters. Okay, so we are given the first two batters in the last set. We are asked to give the last two. So that means we neglect the first two batters here. Do not concern yourselves with the first two batters. Okay, wag nyo na pong tingnan ang first two batters natin. Tingnan na lang natin yung relationship ng ating last two batters in each set. So in the first set that we have, they're facing towards the right. The second set, they're facing left. The third set, they're facing right again. So that means in the last set that we have, they should both be facing towards the left, which means that the correct answer should be letter C. Okay, correct answer there should be letter C. Now we go to the last question. In the last question here, we are given different arrows. Now these arrows are pointing in different directions. So what should be the correct answer? Upon taking a look at the relationship of our arrows, we can see that the arrow is actually moving clockwise, okay? Clockwise, semi-quarterly. Okay, semi-quarterly clockwise. So very gradually po ay umiikot ang arrow clockwise. So umiikot po siya clockwise. Okay, gradual na pag-ikot clockwise. Now the last arrow that we have here is facing downwards. Okay, so that means the next arrow should be semi-quarter this way. Okay, so that means the correct answer here would be part D. Alright, so that ends the first part of our abstract reasoning. If there is any question that you'd want to ask, if there is any topic that you'd want us to cover, do not forget to like us on Facebook and also subscribe to our Facebook channel that's Gurung Pinoy. Also follow us on Instagram as Gurung Pinoy PH. Again, if there is anything that you'd like us to discuss, then please comment in our comment box below. This is just the first part of our abstract reasoning. We still have two remaining videos, so please subscribe and visit us for the next videos. Sa muli ito pong inyong Gurong Pinoy na nagsasabing maliit man na butil ng mga kaalaman, ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan. Maraming salamat po!